Hello everyone, in this video we will understand the previous concepts using graph. So here we have our y axis and this is our x axis. x axis represents income or output and y represents aggregate demand. Now assume this to be your consumption function which is c is equal to right and this parallel line to be our ad ad curve which is a plus c y which we just derived okay in case you forgot then this c is con c plus c y d which is our disposable income and this was our where we took as all those exogenous variables right now all the difference in between is your i plus g plus nx why because from our previous ad function if you remember we had c plus i plus g plus nx that i, g, and x were constants, sorry, exogenous. Now, the rest variable that we kept in a were a part of c, right? So, we don't, we don't need to include them. But when we have a, d, and c over here, then a, d minus c is equal to i plus g plus n, x. And that is why the difference between these two curves are basically i plus g plus n, x or investment plus government spending plus exports. Now, making a 45 degrees line, so again, this point where y, d and, y and AD are intersecting is our equilibrium income and this is our equilibrium demand, okay? Also, if you notice, also, if you notice, then y or output over here is more than demand. So, your unplanned inventory is more than zero because my outputs are more than demand, right? Whereas, at this point, our aggregate demand is more than our output, which means that people are demanding more products, but that much product is not available in an economy. So, IU is negative. Okay, easy graph. Now we can start with another another topic, which is formula for equilibrium output. Now we just realized that AD is equal to A plus CY, and output is in equilibrium when Y is equal to AD. Therefore. For output to be in equilibrium, y is equal to this, right? Now, taking y on our left hand side, we get y 1 minus c is equal to autonomous a, which is a. So, y is equal to 1 minus c into a, right? And this is the equation of our equilibrium output. Now, in case you're not able to relate to it, you can simply understand it by, this was the graph, right? This was our income, this was our AD, and this was our AD curve, right? We had our intercept A bar over here, right? And this curve is called AD, which is C plus, sorry, A plus CY. So this a over here which is intercept is represented by this and the slope of this curve is represented by mpc sorry mps okay and that is how you basically locate a graph in case you are asked to simply draw a line exactly the same line okay so for you to make the proper trace the graph properly you'll need to have its slope and the intercept and those two things are being represented over here. 
so yes this is our equilibrium output and yes so it is it for this video and in next video we'll be talking about saving and investment thank you